so we're here now at the fairgrounds park in Memphis. This impressive looking structure in front, this is the Memphis Mid-South Coliseum. And it's on 16th of March, that, uh, 16th of March 1974 that Elvis first played this arena. Uh, it was his first, first concert in Memphis since the charity shows in 1961 at the Alice Auditorium. It keeps getting threatened with um, demolition. I'll have to check, I'm sure I read before coming out though that they've, they've actually got plans for for the auditorium, I hope so. It's uh, it's got a lot of history. Uh, you know, many people many people have played this concert hall. Of course, it's not just Elvis. The Beatles played here in '66. Um, there's that famous uh, famous film footage. Uh, well, after Lennon said that the Beatles were bigger than Jesus, that uh, film footage of a cute. Ku Klux Klan member threatening to uh, disrupt the show, shall we say? Uh, but the Who has played your Led Zeppelin. Uh, but Elvis played here, as I said, 16th of March 1974 was the first time he played this this arena. Played two shows that day at Harpers 2 and uh, Harpers State. He was here back here on the next day, Sunday 17th of March. Again, two shows, 2.30 and 8.30. The, the evening show, Harpers State, you can actually listen to if you... Uh, if that's been released on the Follow That Dream record label, collector's label, on... Uh, as one of a two CD set, hometown shows. The following Wednesday on 20th of March, because the four shows uh, had sold out on that uh, on those weekend dates, Parker quickly prompt uh, quickly booked in a fifth show here on the Wednesday night, and that show was released as the Elvis recorded live on stage in Memphis album, which was released in 1974. here on Elvis Presley Boulevard was the site of the Howard Johnson Motel. It's just literally half a mile up from Graceland down there and Elvis would often stay here just to get away from Graceland when he needed a break. He had two rooms here that were set aside permanently for him that he could check in any time he wanted to. And he often, when he, when he was playing the Mid-South Coliseum, he also stayed here just to stay in the routine of being on tour and staying in hotels. Here we are on Sandalin Road. And that opposite there is the, the Racquet Club of Memphis. Um, and that's where after jo Dr. George Nicopolis had got Elvis into squash as a way to lose weight and keep healthy. He and Elvis and uh, Dr. George Nicopolis' son Dean would come here to play racquetball. That building over there was the Crosstown Theatre, another one of Elvis's favourite theatres to rent out after hours. And next door, right on the corner, there was the T K Tennessee Karate Institute, which was where Red West was one of the chief instructors.
right next to the Mid South Coliseum. This opened in 60, 64, I believe, 64, 65. Over there is the the Liberty Bowl. Uh, that also opened. They were built around the same time, actually. I think they were, one was 64, one was 65. I think. Um, I think the Coliseum opened first, and then the Liberty Bowl. It was the Memphis Memorial Stadium, but. Uh, that's been since been re renamed the Liberty Bowl. Elvis did go there a few couple of times in the mid mid seventies. The Memphis had a football team, American football team. Uh, I think called the Memphis Southmen. I think they were. So Elvis did go there a couple of times to watch football games. Just a bit further up here on Union, approximately in this location here, yeah, used to be Shilling Motors, a Lincoln dealership. Elvis bought many Lincoln, like Cadillacs. Lincoln perhaps was his second favourite make of car, and he bought many through here. And one weekend, he bought the entire stock that they had at the time for, for $60,000. And this would be just opposite where Baptist Memorial Hospital was, which would be, which would have been down there off Union. 